today. Um, this is De La Cruz engineering video tutorial. So in this video, we will discuss the and solve problems about algebra, the work rate problems. Okay, so classical algebra problems. Okay, let's start. So basic muna. A man can finish a certain job in 10 days. A boy can finish the same job in 15 days. If the man and the boy plus a girl can finish the job in 15 days, so sabay na silang tatlo, how long will it take to the girl to finish the job alone? So, okay, the basic is, yun, work is equals to rate times time. Okay, so we can express this into these variables, work is equals to rate times time, R times T. Okay, so let's say that the rate of demand, that is the R man, one work in 10 days. He can finish that work in just 10 days. Okay, the boy man can finish the work in 15 days. Okay, so let's um, equate this in into the work is equal to rate times time. Gamitin natin to. Okay, that is just the work, isang trabaho, is equal to the sum of the rates nilang tatlo times the time. Okay, that is the rate, whole rate times time. Okay, we can actually do this because um, nagsabay-sabay silang magtratrabaho from the start. Okay, so actually this is just the sum of the works of these three people here. That is just the, w the, r the work of the man plus the work of the boy plus the work of the girl. Okay, if we will distribute this time. Okay, so let's substitute this. Yan. And let's say that the rate of the girl is RG. Hindi natin gagawin na 1 over the time because... If you will do that, mas mahirap siya i-shift solve. Okay? Mas mahihirapan yung calculator natin. Ganito yung gagawin natin. Rate of the girl. And we can solve that here. Okay? Now, the time na ma... Ga, uh, I mean, matatapos ni girl yung trabaho, yung isang trabaho, is 30 days. Ito, yung reciprocal lang nito. Huwag mong gawin yung 1 over time dito because mahahaba yung solution mo. I mean, uh, mahaba yung time ng pag-shift solve. Ito lang, diretso mas madali siyang i-shift so. Okay, so therefore, the work is, I mean, the time of the girl to finish that work is 30 days. Yun. So that is just the answer. Kunin mo yung rate, then i-reciprocal mo. Yan yung time na matatapos na yung trabaho. Okay, let's do this. One after working on a job for two hours was helped by Jose, and it took three hours more for them working together to finish the job. Okay, so let's interpret this muna. Who won working on a job for two hours? So initially, may isang buong trabaho. Okay? Uh, may isang buong trabaho. One work. Then, nagtrabaho si Juan ng two hours, meaning, um, maliless na yung trabaho. Diba? Magkakaroon ng remaining work. We can say that. May matitirang trabaho. Because, um, nagtrabaho si Juan for two hours lang. Pero hindi niya natapos. So, after that, yung matitirang trabaho, ito na yung pagtutulong-tulungan ni Jose at ni Juan. And matatapos nila in 3 hours. Okay, I hope you understand that. So, let's say the work remaining after Juan work for 2 hours, okay, that is just the work, 1 work minus the work ni Juan na in 2 hours. That will be just the remaining work is equals to 1 work minus yung work ni Hyuan in just 2 hours. Okay, so this will be the remaining work. Now, itong remaining work, ito yung um, pagtutulungan ni Jose at ni Hyuan na matatapos nila in 3 hours. So, that will be the remaining work is equals to rate ni Hyuan at rate ni Jose times 3 hours. And we will substitute this dito. Okay, ganyan. So, magiging ganyan. Then, I will um, combine like terms, okay? The rate ni Juan, and simplifying this, ganito yung magiging itsura. Okay? I will, I will um, create this equation na pa ganito para madali na siyang gawin sa calculator. And this is my equation 1. Okay? So, my technique dito kasi is in terms of rate yung hahanapin ko para hindi siya mahirap i-ship solve. Now, another phrase here, had they work together, if nag sabay silang nagtrabaho from the start, it could only require 4 hours to finish the job. Okay, so we can say that the one work work is equal to sum of the rates times time kasi sabay naman silang nagtrabaho. 
that would be sum of the works nila and rearranging this I will cross multiply this for here magiging 1 fourth yan and that will be my equation 2 and we can use our calculator na dito okay so using the canon emulator that will be at the mode um, equation 5 then we have two unknowns here the rate of Jose and you want so ga gagamitin natin to to yun okay and then mode 5 and we have 1 okay two unknowns so substitute mo yung coefficients nila by the way kung ano yung arrangement mo dito na una si Juan dapat mauna rin si Juan dito dapat the same arrangement lahat okay so that will be 5 and dito pa tayo 3 and 1 yung constant dito naman sa second equation 1 1 and 1 over 4 okay if we please press equal that will be the rate of ni Juan and also the rate of ni Jose okay so that will be one work in eight hours the same rent lang Jose one work in eight hours so ang hinahanap dito is how long would it take Juan to finish the job so Juan could finish the job or work in just eight hours okay reciprocal mo, mo lang yung rate nila it will take Juan eight hours to do the job or work alone okay so another example 11 men can finish the job in 15 days. 5 men were working together at the start. Okay. So after 6 days, 4 men were added. How many days from the start will it take to finish the job in this situation? Okay, so initially in ito yun. Okay, work is equal to rate times time pa rin. Okay? And um, this kind of problem is nag-assume tayo na the rate of each month are equal okay that will be the rate of man okay so initially yung work daw isang work is just equals to the rate of this 11 man times 15 days yan yung magiging isang buong trabaho natin the work is equals to um, rate ng 11 katao so that will be 11 times the rate of the man since um, equal lahat yung assume that the rate are equals okay so that will be 165 times the rate of the man ito, ito yung isang buong trabaho okay so dito naman 5 men were working okay so this will be the starting um, point 5 men were working at the start and after 6 days okay so meaning after 6 days may nagawa silang trabaho pero hindi nila matatapos okay so 4 men were added meaning at the 7th day nagdagdag ng um, apat na tao so that will be 4 plus 5 siyam na tao na yung nag work okay so yung matitirang trabaho dito ito na yung pagtutulong-tulungan ng siyam ka tao na yan okay so that will be we have to calculate the remaining work so the remaining work is just initially ito yung isang buong work natin hindi na siya one unit work we have a definite work na dito ito yun that will be 165 R man minus um, um, yung trabaho ng limang tao in 6 days that, that is the rate of demand in 6 days ito yung initially um, working force natin limang tao lang okay so if we will simplify ito yung remaining work okay that is 125 times the rate of demand now nagdagdag ka ng apat na tao meaning siyam na sila lahat and this remaining work ito yung tratrabaho in na nilang siyam that would be um, 9 men times the time. Okay, hindi natin alam. Yun yung um, isusold natin, yung time. How many days from the start. Okay, and we will substitute this remaining work here. Ayun. So, as you can see here, we can cancel out this rate of the man. Okay, so that is just the basic um, solution talaga. Um, ibang problem dito, ibang solution dito is ginagawa nilang Mondays. Okay, but the basic is just the rate times time lang. Okay, and we can solve the time here. But the problem here is from the start. How many days from the start? Meaning, i-account pa natin tong 6 days na ginawa nila from the start. Of the total days from the start will be um, 6 plus 15 and that is 21 days. Okay, so last problem tayo. This is quite challenging. So we will interpret this phrase by phrase. 
a tank is supplied by two pipes let's say this is the tank so yung A and B supply this tank okay yung C naman is out so meaning palabas yung work I mean yung flow nya let's say ganito these are the pipes and this is the A pipe A, B and C Ayun. so if the tank is empty so initially empty walang laman um, the tank can be filled in 20 hours if the tank is empty and all pipes are open meaning sabay silang nag open look at this okay so that will be filled the volume of the tank will be filled in 20 hours so that is just so basically work is equal to rate times time and obviously here the work natin dito is just the volume that will be can be expressed into volume is equals to the flow rate of each pipe that is just the flow rate okay yung sinasabing work dito is the rate flow rate and the work dito is the volume times time and by um, analyzing this if the tank is empty initially so wala pang laman so the volume of the A in 20 hours plus the volume of the B in 20 hours minus the volume of the C in 20 hours is equals to the total volume magkakaroon na na I mean mafipil na yung tank so take note that volume is equals to rate times time so we can express this into rate of the A times 20 and it's the volume of the B minus the volume of the C that is outflow so that will be A that we can be filled let's say that is V okay so we stop here if the tank is full initially full a and C are opened so yung B naka close um, the tank can be emptied meaning mauubos na yung water in 4 hours okay so look at this so initially full then yung nag open yung A and C and mag e empty yung tank in 4 hours so that is just summing, summing up of the works lang or the volume so the volume of the A so initially walang volume diba the volume of the A plus the I mean initially my volume okay total volume the tank is full volume plus ni RA minus ni RC so mag, mag e empty yung tank that will be zero okay so we stop here dito na rin if the tank again is full then B and C naman yung, yung open the tank can be emptied pa rin in 2 hours na okay so initially full and open yung B at C then emptied na siya so that will be initially full plus the volume of the B minus the volume of the C then mag e empty na yung tank natin okay so we have uh, created three equations but as you can see here we have three unknowns I mean four unknowns so we need to create another equation so that is just dito the last statement pipe A supplies 50 liters per minute more than B so we can express that that the rate of the A is equals to R ta plus by the way this is 50 na mistype ko that is 50 okay plus 60 I mean 50 so we can express this RB into A so take note yung hinahanap is naka in liters per minute ha so the times here na binigay is naka hours so we multiply na natin 2 by 60 para maging minutes na sila okay consistency sa units lang okay so I multiply this by 60 okay I hope masundan nyo ha so the times ng the hours uh, multiply by 60 that will be in minutes na and we will simplify this look at this we will divide this first equation here all by 20 times 60 and that is 1 200 okay so magiging ganito yan so magiging RA na lang dito kasi dinivide natin yan okay take note they are they have the same coefficient and ito divided by 20 times 60 that is 1 200 then uh, transpose natin sa kabila that will be negative so ito yung gagawin, na, uh, gagawin natin para ma create natin yung equation then may magagamit natin yung calculator okay ito naman divide both sides by 4 times 60 so uh, then we will arrange this kung ano yung arrangement dito sa taas that will be RB mauna I mean RA then RC then the volume okay walang RB dito I hope nasundan nyo to ha then ito naman divided by 
2 times 60 lahat. Again, and I will arrange this in this manner dapat. Okay? But, take note, hinahanap ito is pipe ni A and pipe ni C, the rates, flow rates. So, I will express na lang RB into RA. Okay? I will express ito. I mean, i-transpose natin yung RA. I mean, yung 50 dito. Magiging RA minus 50. Then, I will substitute it here. Okay, so, si mag magiging simplified. Ito, ganito na siya. Okay, I hope masundan na, nyo na yan. Then, ito naman, substitute natin dyan. Then, magiging ganito. So, ginawa ko to para uniform yung um, solution natin. Diretso na, kasi A, so A na una, si C, then yung capacity of the tank in liters, that is just the total volume of the tank. Okay, and that are the three equations. And using, again, the calculator, so, that is three equations, three unknowns. We have three unknowns, diba? So, that is just in mode, again, five. Then, dito, three equation that will be in two. Then, substitute the coefficients. That is two in equation one. Then, negative one. Then, negative one divided by one, two hundred. Then, the constant here is fifty. Then, ito naman, one negative 1 in 1 divided by 240 then the constant here is 0 ito naman 1 minus 1 then 1 over 120 yung coefficients na lang ha then the 50 yung constant and pressing equal here the rate of ni A is 110 liters per minute na yan take note naka per minute na tayo dito and the C is 160 liters per minute. And the volume is 12,000 liters. Okay. So, that are the answers. So, yun. So, thank you everyone for watching. So, if nakatulong sa inyo to, please like, share, and subscribe. And do comment naman dito sa comment section. Again, thank you for watching and God bless.